Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 5 of Spiral, A Hero's Tale. So we made it here to Dragon 5 Falls last time, so... Well, now I get why it's called Dragonfly Falls, because I kind of fell. We're going to go into this uh, little Sparks area, which is one of two new playable characters in this uh, area. Give it up, Spyro. You'll never fit through that crack in the wall. So you want me to go in there and do it for you? Yeah, why not? For a dragon egg. Yeah, every, every challenge in this game has two versions of it. Jesus Christ. Alright, so you just hold down the X button. This is going to be janky sounding. And how do we fire the missile? Oh, okay, square. That's good to know. Bats! Rapid fire, go! A uh, spider. These levels are okay. They're... At least they make sense for sparks. Unlike in Spiral 3, while I love the sparks levels... They just didn't really make any sense in spiky rock balls. Why are they spiky? Ow. I wanted that, whatever that was. I don't even know what that was. Is there a way I can, um... Oh! Jesus. You charge using the uh, R1 button, which is not very useful. I kind of want to stay away from enemies as much as possible, because they're kind of uh, annoying in this. Spiders. You know what, there's actually more unique enemies in here than there are in the spiral levels. <laughs> That's saying something. Oh, that looks like the end over there. Yeah, kind of just go to like a weird little section, I don't even know why. And then, of course, they'll get progressively harder as you do the higher challenge. Here's a dragon egg. Are we done yet? All right, thank you. Should I try again to see if I can find a light gem? Why do they keep his normal sound effects, but then also go with like whatever that weird, like, voice he has is? Oh, you actually don't have infinite dash. It recharges over time, but we'll just do it to kind of bum rush through these uh, easy sections. Chameleons. Interesting. See what I mean about this already having more enemies than the Spyro levels? Alright, so that's what we want to do there. Also, everything dies in one hit, so... <clears throat> My issue with the rocks, they're hard to predict exactly where they're gonna go. Like, they don't really feel like you can predict them, and that's a lot of enemies. And there's different flying enemies already, too. <clears throat> Rapid fire, go! Wait, when did I get health? Or do you just regain health over time when killing a certain amount of enemies or something? I don't know. Oh, that was bull. The, the camp... Wait, how come I didn't take damage from that? I'm already out of dash? Really? Did your dash recover so slow? And oh, there's the exit right there. The new enemies, the chameleons, didn't really seem that challenging, but we did it. Literally, what, a minute? Man, I could have did this in the last episode and not went over our time limit at all. Look, I like Jim. You should start appreciating me more. Um... What do you mean? Spyro's already always appreciated. There's nothing left in there. Do I really have to go back in? Why would I want to play for fun? Like that's not even fun, game. <clears throat> Oof. Got those guys. The sound effects on those guys are just so lame. Also, how do we get up there? Why did it decide to glide after I had le or had uh, already started to drop? Okay, so I forget if there's anything else here. Is there anything else here? No, it doesn't look like it. That one path is the bonus area. In this game, though, the bonus areas for collecting so many light gems are actually quite large. God, my throat is irritating today. It's just trying to prevent me from talking, so... 
If I'm clearing my throat, that's why I'm doing it. It's because my throat is... Well, obviously. Why else would you do it, you know? Holy, when you charge one falling, you kind of, like, dive bomb. Still, the only complaint I have is the camera angles in this game so far. And the controls being a little wonky. Oh, yeah, I don't have a key. Oh, no, I do. I didn't know I had a key, but... Free light gem. Uh, how many of the totals are we at? We only have four light gems left and three eggs and then one crystal. One of the crystals has got to be around here if you think about it. Is that... Oh, yeah, the piranha water. Whoa. For some reason, the game just straight up doesn't tell you that there's going to be piranhas in this water, even though you get to swim in the water for, like, one brief section of the game. And it's like, oh, yeah, by the way... Oh, we're not going to make this. Those vultures, man. At least if I can get the light gem. That's that's all that really matters. Uh. Ah! Wait, why do they have blue feet? Are these, like, blue-footed vulture boobies? I don't know. Wait, I swear there were gems under that water, by the way. I want to see that again. Because that didn't look like... There are gems down there. How the... How the balls, man, do you get that? Like, that's intimidating. Oh no, a Nork with armor. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Also, you don't really need sparks in this game to pick up gems, which is really odd considering he's like the whole gimmick and... Oh, is this what I think it is? Yeah, it's the other, like, level thing, which is Hunter. Spyro, it's good to see you again. Uh, you see this cave behind me? Well, it looks like you're not gonna fit through there. Don't you wish you were me? Um, I clearly fit, but okay. Are you gonna tell me how to play Hunter? Nope, you're not gonna tell me how to play Hunter. Square is a bow, circle is to punch. You can still double jump. Can I break crates? No, it is cool, though, that you get to play as Hunter and not just in a vehicle in this game. That's one thing I really did love about this. I hear a light gem. I thought I did. Yeah, use square to use your bow and arrow. It'd be really helpful, though, if I got sparks. Yeah, if you hold it down, it's automatically locked on, which is kind of cool. Like I, I do like I do appreciate the auto lock on. Jump and then X? Or jump and then square, I mean? Yeah, I kind of figured that. Dash punch? That's what they call it instead of just punch? Pew. Oh yeah, the archer up there. I, I don't think so, buddy. Oh, okay. That's funny. I kind of actually wanted to die, though, to get the extra health. Okay, the music is actually pretty good. I think that light gem is... See, unlike um, the other like mini-game things like Sergeant Bird and uh, Sparks, Hunter doesn't actually... Um have to do it twice. Press L1. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That That is actually really smooth. I'm impressed. For this game being as janky as it is... Oh no, you're telling me how to stomp. Oh yeah, then he's also got the, uh, the wall climb. Oh! Our arrows have fall off, though. I don't even think we can hit him from here. Oh no, we can. Very, very awkwardly, but we can. I have an itchy eye. Let me just uh, fix that for a second here. Wait a second. Aha! I seen that green gem out of the corner of my eye waterfall. Wonder what we got in here. Pick up explosive arrows. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. 
The sound effect of him withdrawing his arrow is only in your left ear, by the way. Also, I love how it tells you how to do this, but yet, this is technically the first time you actually find something to use it on. I really do like the hunter sections, and there is one in my favorite level in this game. Just gotta make sure there's no secret over here. We're actually almost done exploring this entire level. And yes, we can't get all the eggs because one of the eggs is going to be behind the um, uh, the bonus area. Like I said before, I don't know if I said it in this episode or last episode, but it still just applies. Also, we can go down there, but walk... Walk cautiously so you don't fall to your death. That was just dumb. Though, unlike other Spire games, you don't have lives, even though the lives all... Uh-oh. Kill him. Oh yeah, I think to break those... Yeah, you need that. That's what you need. You're dead. You're dead. Wait, are we already past where we were? I think we are. Oh man, the, the withdrawal of the arrow is the issue. Not not that it's hard to do, it's just there's like a time delay. Because it's realistic when it comes to withdrawing an arrow from your uh, quiver, which is actually really cool by the way. I really wish more games had that. Okay, how do I get that? Oh, uh, there we go. It's another uh, fiery egg, so I'm assuming... Wait a second, what's... What's this down here? Headshot. Oh, while he's sniffing his pits. To perform a flying kick. Oh. Yeah. That's actually kind of cool. And this should be the light gem. Nice! We completed it. And we have 20 light gems. Oh boy. This, this is going good. Then we can leave. Hi, Spyro. So, Hunter, are you done being awesome yet? Oh, that one you actually have to click, yes. It's really awkward when they do that. Okay, so where we need to go is where this narc is over here. I definitely recommend using your map. Like, it's super useful. Ah. I do appreciate the fact that they brought the Norks back, but they could have made it, like, a little more unique and fun, and... Is this really just looping around to this zone? Hmm. Like, is there any purpose to being up? Oh, hang on a second. Hang on, where's that platform going? We'll just casually wait here and wait for this camera angle to fix itself, thank you. I want to see where that platform went. Okay, it's over there. There's no point of even being on that uh, weird floating dock platform. It really doesn't make any sense. Oh, there's the dark a dark gem of that. I want to call them dark crystals, but they're literally gems. And th I love how there's like no reasoning to behind why they exist. Like even in the Spyro games, like the original ones, back on a weaker system, they uh Oh, come on, game. They they had a better story like why Nasty Nork was evil because they kept insulting him and calling him ugly and stupid and stuff like that. And there's a light gem over here. Oh. Oh, we can't get that light gem until we get wall kick, so I guess we gotta remember that. And I don't think we get that in the next world. Where do we get that? Actually, I forget how many elders are in each world, by the way. Because there was two in this world. I'm gonna call them worlds, and then... I guess the proper term would be realms. I think there was two in this realm because there was one in the swamp and then one in, uh, unless, maybe, 
maybe they're in this level. I don't think they are, because this is the last dark gem here. Which is going to cause the walls to fall. And our very first whirlwind of the game, amazing. These thermal vents. You call them thermal vents instead of whirlwinds? They're literally just straight up whirlwinds. They've been in Spiral before. Oh, and they're so weird and slow and clunky and... Oh, then you have to actually jump off of them. That's... Whoa, why does it do that? It like spins me around. I don't want to spin right round. This isn't a song. Are you serious? I love how I got impaled by that even though I didn't technically touch it. Game, are you serious? Why does it keep like homing in on those? Huh. You know what? I'm gonna save. Also, I don't remember that being there. Maybe I couldn't get through there. I don't know. Now, where's that money bags? That's another complaint I have about this level, is one of the uh, money bags uh, vendor locations is locked behind the, the bonus area, which I get why it's so it can teleport to and from there, but at the same time, it's still annoying. Like, who wants to do it that way, man? Like, seriously. Hey, Spyro, over here. Yeah, 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 thank you. You're actually exactly who I wanted. I do believe we can go to... Yeah, Dragon Village. We can go here now. So let me have a drink while we teleport. Alrighty. Now we should be able to take on the boss, but before we do that, I want some health. Man, even with this extra hit, it's still proving to be sometimes annoying. Now, here we go. Grab that. And grab you. And we should be golden to go over here, because it should just automatically deactivate. Oh yeah, then the world clears up for whatever reason. It's kind of weird. Oh yeah, then we get to meet this guy, who is literally Spyro. Spyro, you've done it! The force field has disappeared! I thought I was going to be trapped in here forever! This way leads to Nasty's lair. Now go and ram his gnarly butt. Um, why would I want to ram his butt? Also, remember those eggs? Hmm, suspicious, right? Keep that in mind. So that egg thing disappeared and oh, this is a pretty interesting area. Nasty's cave. defeated you you did really <laughs> I don't remember that at all <laughs> man I guess it really has been a while so are we gonna do this thing or what all right so yeah unlike the other games the bosses actually have pretty big health bars and you gotta flame his little tookus there with his little boxers I forget all that he does though cuz Bosses in this game are actually quite creative compared to other Spyro games. Then again, I guess technically speaking, Spyro's always had pretty difficult boss fights outside of, um, like the very first game. It was like, man, remember, like, Crush and Rip- or not Crush, Gulp and Ripto? Ripto I found easier than, uh, than Gulp, though, for whatever reason, and oh my god, this guy's health bar is gargantuan. Luckily, we got that extra hit. And, oh yeah, and I swear if you get hit, I think, um, I don't think you can... I don't know how you're supposed to telegraph the stupid tornadoes, though. I think it's every three hits he does like a, yeah, like a temper tantrum.
We didn't beat you, though. Now I think things start to fall, right? No? I forget what he does. I think... Oh, yeah, never mind. He does. Those things barely have shadows. That's, that's good to know. Did you really have to do that? Now's not the time, Spyro the Dragonic Fool. Yeah, 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 bring it on, Ganasty Ganorker Porker. The next world of the game, though, is literally my least favorite, because it can actually be kind of um, tedious. Also, you notice how we didn't need the pole vaulting ability for literally any part of the last level? Really weird, right? I love how the game does that. It's just like, nah, how about no? Are you serious? How was I supposed to know those were going to be tornadoes? Oh yeah, and then you gotta go through this phase again. Gotta have an itchy eyebrow. Now's not the time, game. Or game. Me, my body, whatever. Like, how are you supposed to predict that he's gonna use the tornadoes next instead of a shockwave or something, you know? Like, it... Though the bosses in this game are pretty creative for a Spyro game. I just wish this meant that this would get over faster. Ow. Okay, so if you get hit in there, then it goes into the next phase. I really hope we don't have to do this over again if, uh... You know, if we die. He is uh, looking angry now. Uh oh, now those things in the background are kind of um, charged up. Now I think he uses his electricity, right? Uh... Yeah, now he's got like an electric charge. Also, I just realized I don't think they give you health here. Yeah, let me guess. Now you're gonna like quadruple pound the ground that we can just double jump over. It'd be really cool if you could, like, cheese it and somehow flame him from behind. Uh-oh. Yeah, how was I supposed to deal with that? Oh, come off it, game. Really? I guess you... Oh, no, never mind. It's by... It's by section. Wait, is that a butterfly? Now we get a butterfly? Really? Alright, it's good to know that you don't technically have to redo the entire boss fight. Also, why did they give me health now? Yeah, so for I get what we have to do for this next section. Game, you do realize what double jump is, right? I hate when it does that. Um, I jumped, and then I let go. Like, why did it do that? Jeez Louise, man, that is just annoying. I don't like that attack, because I did exactly what I wanted it to do, but it didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do. So he always does this attack, though, so that's like the one that you can telegraph, which is, which is good. Oh, it splits! Okay. There was no telling me that, like, there's no, like I said... Oh, that one's easier than the second phase. And there we go! We defeated him, finally! That was... cumbersome. A third time! No! This time you really defeated me! That stinks! It's a joke on the whole boss fight trope. Spyro, I know that you've traveled far and overcome great obstacles in your quest to save me. Yeah, well, actually, I'm on a quest to... So as a reward, I will bestow you some of my electric energy. This will give you the ability to breathe electricity from now on. Wow! Is this breath even stronger than my fire breath? In some ways it is, but it will take longer to defeat enemies. Specifically, it can be used to activate switches and power machinery. It excludes not electric switches and or machinery that uses light gems batteries not included. Okay, goodbye, electric fairy. 
So yeah, this is not good for defeating enemies. So now we can activate these. So that opens up more obstacles. I believe there's one more breath type, and that's ice. Ice, I think, is the weakest. Weird that it requires you to, like... I think it's so... I think it forces you to, like... Just spam it on it so it doesn't die off. That actually looks really cool, though. Like, the electrical graphics on the node. Really well done. Wait, does this instantly lead into the next zone? Or is this backwards? No, this is going backwards. Because it just, he destroyed the bridge, I forgot. We were just in a cave, after all. Also, flame's gone. Yeah, flame and ember. That's that's really creative, considering Spyro's name is literally Spyro. Well done, Spyro. You freed this realm from nasty Nark. Right after you did that, this teleporter started working again. Oh, a teleporter, huh? I think Moneybags already has one of those. Well, yes, that's true. But he has a, a local teleporter. Mine will take you to a whole new realm. <laughs> They're completely different technologies. Yeah, and Moneybags Teleporter is smaller. And Moneybags Teleporter is smaller. Alright, so with this, we can now go from the Dragon Kingdom to the Lost Cities. Which is, like I said, my least favorite world in this entire game. I'm not saying it's a bad one. It's, it's, it's not. Just my least favorite. What? Defeated by that little twerp Spyro. He is only a dragon whelp. Your master was a useless lump of dragon dung, and you brainless imbeciles better get your act together, or you will find yourselves working in the mines digging for dark gems for the rest of your miserable lives. Oh, as for you, this is the first and last time you will bring me bad news. Now, all of you, get out there and stop Spyro. I suspect he's on his way to this realm. And when he gets here, I'll have a little surprise for him. <laughs> ah, yes, Ineptune. Because she's not very inept at anything. Ah, Spyro, I see you made it safely. Certainly gives the old system a thorough workout, eh? Yeah, right. Like being sucked down a giant drain. Ah, uh, matter transportation is still in its relatively early stage. Uh, but don't worry, you'll soon get used to it. You can travel back to the first realm from this teleporter any time. Just step inside and activate it and choose where you want to go. Anyway, now you're here, the next thing you should do is try to find the Elder in the Cloudy Domain. I'm pretty sure the Elder in the Cloudy Domain doesn't actually give you the ability we need for the for Dragonfly Falls. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and in the next episode, we will check out this beautiful realm, which is a nice sunny beach. Bye bye